So I'm here today to do a review on our Fisher Price Lap and Learn iPad activity case. Um, ever since I did my first birthday haul video and when I um, put pictures of Instagram on Instagram of Emma using this, I've had a lot of moms ask me my thoughts on it, if I like it, and I figured I would just do a review video to share with you guys what I like, what I don't like, and um, give you an idea to see if it's something that would work good for your family. So like I said, this was a gift that was given to us by my mother and father-in-law um, on Emma's birthday. And I had been eyeing it myself and wasn't sure if I really wanted to make the investment to use it. Um, but since we got it for her birthday, I was really excited to try it out and see how it works. So this is a case that's really, really durable. On the back are these two little red um, latches. And what you use is a quarter to either lock it in place or open it up. So this is locked in place and as you can see the back's not going to fall out. And then just to open it you unlock it and you open the case and then you put your iPad in here. So here's my iPad and I'm going to just pop it in here. What is mama doing? And there you go and then you lock it in place and I'm not gonna lock it in place right now because I do want to show you guys some of the apps that um, I use but it's really user-friendly and the case is great the case is super super durable and um, Emma plays with it she knocks it around she's um, you know tossed it everywhere and it's done nothing to my iPad so that feature I really really like because it does allow me to turn on an app for her and let her play with it independently and not have any concern that she's going to do something to harm it. The case does exactly that. It's awesome when it comes to protecting. It has this durable cover on it and then down here is a harder piece of plastic so it keeps them from being able to hit the um, home button or the menu button whatever I guess this is called so that they can't flip screens and change it. So um, what I downloaded for her was a bunch of apps. I have a section um, called baby apps and then there's all these different Fisher Price apps. Um, a couple of the ones that are her favorite right now are Giggle Gang and Storybook. These are free in the app store. Sorry, that's upside down. These are free in the app store and they have different levels and different features. So this one is one of her favorite ones. Um, you just touch the screen and all of these different things, <laughs> yeah, that's Vinny. All these different characters appear and as Baby just keeps hitting it, it becomes more and more interactive. So as you can see, she's like, Mom, I wanna play with that. Um, there's another one for shapes and I think this one is colors. They're all Fisher Price apps and like I said, they're all free in the app store. So here's another one that has shapes and everything is all touch motivated. <laughs> She's like, mama. So these apps she loves. Um, the other ones that we really, really like are the storybook apps. And I'll open one of those for you guys. And was like, what are we doing? Why can't I play with it? They just take a second. To um, so this one is like row, 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 you bro. It has two different um, <laughs> options. You can play and read or play, read and sing. Row, row, row your boat. And it's, again, row, row, row all motivated by baby and it keeps them thoroughly entertained. So I'm going to toss this in my iPad case for her because she's getting anxious to use it. Hang on. <laughs> I know, it's so cool. I'm gonna give that to her so that she can play with it so there's a lot more pros than cons but the only cons that I do have is that once you put it in the case and the menu button is blocked you're stuck on this app so once she gets bored with the app I have to go back to the case reopen the back and then flip through to change it um, if I left the menu button open at the top which is another option you have um, I'll show you they say instead of putting the 
the bottom of it here you put the bottom up here so that you can touch it and change it but then it would give her the option to do that so that's really the only negative that I hate is that once she's done with the app that I have open and in the case it's a lot of work to change it and obviously her attention span right now is you know not the greatest when it comes to to these things she'll play with it for a couple minutes but then she's done um, it automatically just shut off so because um, you obviously can't access the power button or anything like that everything's completely blocked once they're in here um, so it just power off on itself which is a nice thing um, but that's kind of it so we really really like it there all of the Fisher Price apps are great like I said even if you don't have this case you can get the um, Fisher Price apps in the app store for free and um, I would highly suggest them if you're, you're looking for something interactive for baby we don't give her a lot of time to play with on the iPad but it is something that I like to do when I'm getting ready and I'm home by myself and my husband's not home or if she kind of wants to play with something different besides her toys and she's interested in obviously electronics because we're interested in them so um yeah so I think that's pretty much it hopefully that is helpful for you guys if you're considering getting one she also loves to chew on the case and play with these things here as you can see that's nice too because miss Julie monster with her um, brand new teeth on the top is like a drool bucket so it's really nice <laughs> to have this case because my case that protects just the outside of the iPad wouldn't protect the screen like this um, so she can't scratch it there's nothing she can do to it um, and she loves it it's one of her new favorite toys so like I said, if you have any questions, definitely leave them below as a comment and we'll try and answer them for you. See you all next time. Bye.